everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a sniper rifle here. This is the AMAC 1500, or 1500, depends on how you want to think about how you describe numbers. It's a sniper rifle. It has a scope here, which is obviously kind of like a see-through scope type function here. You shoot it, and then you got to reload. You get one shot. That's it. It, it seems like a weird looking animation there, but like the, well, look, it's a recoil on the hit by a shot. Um, but you like put another bullet in there when you put a, with the, when you do the bolt. Like, so like the, you put like a whole new bolt, like the bullet is attached to the bolt. Look at it. Look, that's what it looks like, right? Like I'm just, you pull the, the whole bolt out, you put a whole new bolt in there. That's, they got a new bullet attached. That's what the animation at least looks like. I don't know if that's the intention. I do want to mention here. We also got a big chunky looking run here. Um, the texture quality of this weapon does look good. This weapon is added to the level list, so if you can't find it, it's because you're not level 20 yet, and also you haven't killed enough high-level gunners, or look to merchants. There's also a secret note to, finding, to find one in the world at the dugout end. I just happened to kill some high-level gunners, so I'm not going to tell you where to find the one out in the world because I don't know where it is. But I do know that this sniper rifle is good, in my interpretation, because it's doing huge amounts of damage. We'll show that off here by looking at it at the weapons workbench here. So we go down here. So it's a suppressed currently. We currently have the sharpshooter's receiver, which is the best receiver. 602 damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> you can obviously make it lightweight or lucky. There's some interesting things here. See, like the lucky receiver, critical hits do 20 times more damage, but regular hits do less damage. But like 20 times damage on a crit is crazy. Uh, a magnum receiver, which even is more damage than the sharpshooters? Apparently. I don't know. Better damage, accuracy, fire rate, and critical shot. I don't know sure what the... I guess it's the fire rate slightly better. You get the standard receiver, obviously. But even the standard, it's doing 344 damage. Obviously shooting the big old 50 caliber bullet, right? Rapid receiver, which is supposed to... It's a four shell holder. So apparently, like, you can actually get... Like, well, it doesn't actually give you a mag. But it's got four shells on the side to make it so you reload faster. Like, it's more rapid. I mean, maybe a little bit. You're still not getting out rapid shots. This is not the gun that you're like... Popping quick scopes with <laughs> whatever I guess this is Call of Duty, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's not the kind of gun where you're doing that kind of thing. It's a, it's a kind of gun where you're very much taking sneaky shots with it. Um, I still think well, I put the Magnum receiver on because it is the highest damage. Um, the only one barrel, long fluid barrel, only one stock, the marksman stock. This is a very tiny mod too. Okay, I want to mention this for like a gun. It's like 11 megabytes or something. It's the tiniest mod for a weapon I've ever seen. Um, I put full metal jacket rounds on there, um, which is the standard ammunition, but you have heat seeking ammunition, hollow point ammunition, match ammunition, um, proof loaded ammo, uh, the Ralfus um, ammo, high explosive armor penetrating ammo. So there's, there's your explosive ammo, subsonic ammo, um, subsonic hollow points, armor piercing, armor piercing fire rounds, depleted uranium rounds, which do you know radiation damage as well and the highest damage. Um, obviously you need nuclear physicists for that. Some of these you need different perks, mostly gun nut, but things like explosive ammo. But obviously you'd want to do the the Raufus, um uh, ammo, which would be the most damage per shot. Um, so we have different scopes here. These are see-through scopes and then the variable scopes that are not see-through. You could put the regular short scope on to show what that shows like. You get a suppressor or a muzzle brake. That's it. That's all the attachments to the whole gun. It's not like a complicated gun, not by any means at all, but it is a gun. So this is... My still, scope still looks see-through because I have a scope mod on that makes my regular scope seem see-through. But you got a regular three-time scope. The reload on that, I, I guess you can definitely see how the faster fire rate one. It's not fire rate in terms of, because you don't get a magazine or anything where you're like going to put multiple rounds down range at once. It does significantly decrease the time it takes to put that new bolt, bullet combination thing <laughs> into the weapon. Um, but I, I like this two-time scope. It looks nice. It looks nice for me, but we obviously could do longer range stuff. It is it is a sniper weapon. This is not a weapon you're ever going to use close range. You're not really going to hit fire. Um, it's not, I mean, you don't really need, I would say you don't really, I mean, the, the Magnum receiver does lose accuracy. So you're losing accuracy for damage. I mean, you have 125 still. That's probably enough. So you probably more than you ever need, but like I, I could put the lucky receiver on just to show that off. 20 times more critical damage is crazy. Um, I'm still gonna use the explosive ammo, but we'll, let's put a different scope on here. I'm um, like a nine times see-through scope, and then we'll show that off. Um, this is gonna be very zoomed. Um, we're gonna look at like relative distance here. This is obviously very close range, but like all of a sudden they're in me, <laughs> right? Put the little green dot on there, they're dead. Um, in in theory, anyway, um, that's how that would go. <laughs> if something lives through this, you're fucking dead. You should just better start running because you're not gonna reload in time. 
um, with this particular weapon. But yeah, I mean, it's a simple little sniper rifle mod, but I do like it as it's just an extremely high-powered anti-material rifle type weapon that just is like, I'm going to take one explosive rifle shot, absolutely end you, and then move on with my life, right? Like, <laughs> just because like, I don't know, fuck the time, you're super duper dead. Obviously, we have to go test it out in some combat, so I will see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody, we're here at Dunwich Borders. Um, this big old mining area is one of my favorite places to test out sniper rifle weapons. There's always a guy in this box right here. So, absolutely annihilated. You could just hear the desk. Um, <laughs> um, but obviously, the big factor here is obviously we can 95 bats accuracy all around. This is with the lucky receiver, which is how you'd want to use the lucky receiver is in bats. I want to see, like, how long does this take? Can I, like... Can you, did I animation skip there? Because like it felt like that was way faster than it should have been. I, you're telling me there's a man in power armor way over here, and I can't see him? Okay, manual shot. Obviously, the explosive rounds is kind of unnecessary, I think, even. I mean, it's cool because it makes a big boomy noise. Somebody's vaguely shooting at me. Is that you? That man is, is super duper dead. Um, <laughs> but this is like a, this is the sniping spot. This is where you this is what you have sniper rifles for. I mean, obviously, 95 by accuracy all around on all my bat shots. So if I want to go for the head here, absolutely annihilated. Big old explosion. Looks crisp, looks clean. It's a functional sniper rifle weapon. If you get caught out here with this one, though, you're going to have a bad time. Now, I was looking for the power armor man. I bet I could one-shot him without the lucky thing. But obviously, the big benefit of this lucky receiver that I put on here is that you do kind of maximize damage. Who's shooting at me? You, you are kind of shooting at me? I still think I'm in caution, though. I'm very sneaky. Um, no, I'm in danger now. Oh, uh-oh, I'm in danger. Um, so let's, well, see, it does cost a lot. I'm out of AP currently. But, I mean, this is with the three-time scope here. I do want to bat shot. There's, I found the... Why can't you let me see the power armor, man? Okay, I gotta reload. There's the thing. Like, you get called out here. They're not gonna ever make it up here to me. I'm also stuck in the rock textures. Excuse me. Bethesda. Okay, power armor, man. I, I'm looking at him game I mean as long as you're good with your shots I mean that's it's all <laughs> there's some skill based stuff here I would like I'm like looking at the power man can, can you see that can you guys see that if I hold the VAT button it doesn't find anything you're like too far away like what is it there it is okay so obviously execute the critical 20 times damage absolutely annihilated that's a good time anyway we're gonna leave the rest of these mans to live for now, I guess, unless they really have a problem with me. You really got a problem? You really want you really want some, bud? I mean I can blow heads up. You guys get the idea, it's a sniper rifle. It's a very powerful sniper rifle, and it's got a good amount of customization for the amount of size that the mod takes up. So I think it's actually pretty good. It you know, it depends on whether or not you can handle the the slow reload, which correlates to the slow fire rate when you only get one shot per reload. So it's kind of a combination factor there. But I do like this weapon a lot. So if you guys want to check out the AMAC 1500 for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda Dynai page or the Nexus mod page where you can find this mod for yourselves. I'm getting shot at again. You really made it. Up. I missed the frag grenade. I tried to. Um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can check more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be. And I will see you in the next episode.